The Radiant Phone trial uh, uh, was an important trial uh, covering uh, two settings of populations uh, um, that are uh, uh, lung and gastrointestinal uh, net uh, non-functioning populations and it was important because it, it was a, a, an evidence of efficacy of uh, Everolimus 10 mg per day compared with a placebo in uh, these uh, two uh, populations where uh, uh, before we didn't have uh, any standard uh, uh, therapy. Therefore, uh, now um, FDA approved, but also a few days ago even uh, EMA approved, uh, Everolimus uh, has been recognized as a, a possible therapeutic option in advanced uh, uh, net uh, from uh, gastrointestinal and uh, lung. Of course, uh, we mean well differentiated net, not uh, high grade uh, nets, uh, but specifically non pancreatic and uh, uh, non, uh, non functioning. Many combinations uh, are under investigation uh, in uh, nets, considering uh, all types of nets. Uh, specifically, uh, we are uh, studying uh, a combination of uh, PI3K inhibitors uh, and uh, mTOR inhibitors in order to reverse the um, resistance to mTOR inhibitors, for example. In uh, pancreatic nets, uh, we are studying a combination of uh, a BYL uh, 719 that is a, a um, selective inhibitor uh, of uh, PI3K combined with Everolimus uh, and um, a phase 1B trial uh, in uh, pancreatic net uh, is ongoing uh, all over the world. That's an important uh, uh, setting to be investigated, consider that uh, uh, this combination uh, seems uh, uh, to be more tolerated than uh, previous one, for example BZ235 that was uh, a, a specific uh, uh, inhibitor of PITK but uh, also an inhibitor of uh, uh, mTORC1 and mTORC2. We uh, investigated in the past this drug but it, it uh, resulted uh, not manageable in terms of uh, uh, clinical management, therefore it was not possible uh, to go ahead with uh, that uh, investigation uh, program. Therefore now um, these uh, PI3K inhibitors uh, is one of the most important uh, uh, setting in uh, investigation in NETS. That is a negative uh, point uh, in uh, net field, uh, since uh, so far we don't have uh, any validated predictive uh, factor, really predictive of uh, efficacy of uh, any therapy. Um, there are uh, uh, several reports indicating that uh, um, we could have, uh, for example, um, prediction to Everolimus efficacy with uh, phosphorylated mTOR or uh, phosphorylated uh, P70 SS, uh, SX kinase, but uh, uh, no prospective trial validating that uh, has been published so far. Uh, someone is moving uh, from the monoanalyte, so called, to the multi analyte, uh, uh, evaluating simultaneously simultaneously uh, many uh, potential predictive factors and uh, for example also in uh, this ASCO meeting uh, there, uh, there is some poster indicating that the so-called net test that is a combination of uh, 50 uh, transcripts uh, and uh, that is a, a blood test uh, can, predict, uh, can predict the um, efficacy of uh, PRRT. In NET there are uh, several strategies uh, uh, under investigation so far, uh, not necessarily single therapy uh, trials, uh, there are a lot of uh, biological agents uh, under investigation in uh, phase 2 and phase 3 trials, but uh, there are also um, different strategies uh, uh, trial, for example uh, uh, sequencing trial. There is a trial ongoing in Europe uh, uh, comparing uh, uh, the sequence Everolimus uh, followed by chemotherapy uh, versus uh, the opposite sequence or uh, some trial um, evaluating uh, the combination of PRRT with uh, other biologic agents or even uh, chemotherapy. Uh, but uh, net field is uh, uh, peculiar uh, uh, compared with other fields, uh, uh, oncological fields. Uh, uh, since uh, uh, 
even other types of therapy, including uh, liver-directed uh, therapies, for example, radiologic, uh, radiologic, uh, interventional radiological procedures, uh, or even surgical approach on the primary tumor and on the, uh, the metastasis, can be included in uh, some strategies uh, of, uh, of uh, NET uh, therapy. Therefore, it's difficult in NET uh, to perform uh, um, trial uh, um, comparing uh, different strategies uh, each other.